Hello everyone. Today I'd like to talk about how to make Mint Lighter Constant Feed. I really love making the Constant Feed and it's primarily used for seedlings. Um, I also uh, use it for houseplants also, but once you start making this, you'll really appreciate um, using it. The Constant Feed is a diluted version of the Mint Lighter Weekly Feed. So we'll be mixing 25 grams of the Mint Lighter Weekly Feed Mix to three gallons of water. Now if you want to use a one gallon container, you'll use eight grams of the weekly feed. I like to pre-weigh my uh, Costa feed into eight and 24 gram uh, measurements and then put them into baggies all at one time, you know, maybe five or 10 at a time, just to save time and ease. You'll be surprised how much of the constant feed that you use um, if you have any amount of seedlings. I do like to take my weekly feed and put it in a magic bullet and grind it up a little bit. I think it helps it dissolve a little better into the water. And always, don't forget to keep your fertilizer in a dry and cool area. Now just a couple things that I do. Uh, first of all, always check the uh, pH of your water. Um, I do use tap water for the three gallon mix. Usually my seedlings are a little larger at that point. I do use for the one gallon uh, with my seeds germinating my seeds I use a gallon of spring water uh, for them. I think it's a little better. The way that I figured out the proper pH for my water was I added one teaspoon to the bucket of three gallons of water, stirred it, and then I used a pool pH um, test strip then I added another one, stirred it, tested it, and then I added a third and then tested it. And it took for my water, yeah, I had to put three uh, teaspoons of the distilled white vinegar in. I also like to let the water sit overnight after coming out of the tap so that it has a chance for the chlorine to air out. If you have the ability to catch rainwater, that makes great water for your seedlings. Now you'll notice in the bottom of the bucket some particles and these are just left over from the fertilizer, they're usually carriers. I do stir the water and then I wait about two minutes for the larger particles to drop to the bottom. The water does seem a little stronger if you don't. One of the nice things about making constant feed yourself is that you can adjust the strength of it or weakness of it stronger as time goes on your seedlings get a little bit bigger maybe they get a little more hungrier so you can make it a little bit stronger if you want here you can see a black mark that I put in the inside the bucket so that I know where the three gallon mark is and it just makes it easier when filling the bucket with water For stirring, I like to use the metal drill attachment uh, for stirring paint, like a can of paint, and it's very durable. I've had this one for many years. Just a reminder, I am using the Mitt Lighter Custom Soil Mix for my seedlings and I really love it, but it does not have any fertilizer in it and that's why we are using the Constant Feed to add the fertilizer to it. If you buy a bag of potting soil with miracle Grow in it, then adding the Constant Feed to it would over fertilize your seedlings or your plants. I'd really like to encourage everybody to purchase the new updated course manual. They really made it some good improvements, lots of new color uh, photos, updating some of the illustrations and um, some of the text updates that needed to be done. And it's really, really nice job. I personally was involved with a little bit of the updates, so I'm really uh, excited about it and glad to see that over the years we've been using the old manual and this is a really good update. 
thanks for watching. I, I really hope that you make your own constant feed. I know that you'll really enjoy using it. It really does make a difference. And you can find links to some of the items and other videos at plantfoodminerals.com. Thanks a lot.